Hello and welcome again to Bookish Brit. Uh, so far you've seen all of our introductory videos so hopefully you have a good um, understanding of who we are and now we can get down to talking about books. Uh, today I had uh, the idea to talk generally about a series of books by Katie McGarry um, and in particular her latest Crash Into You. I've really, really enjoyed Katie McGarry's books. Um, I don't have them, uh, co physical copies of them, because I've read them mostly on my Kindle, but um, I really, really fell in love with the first book in the series, Pushing the Limits. Um, it tells the story of Echo and Noah, two very broken individuals who finds a way, um, both together and individually, to work their way through the problems that they're going through. Um, I thought the second book in the series, Dare You To, was really interesting. I loved Beth as a character, wasn't as convinced with Ryan. All three of these books by Katie McGarry have a very strong element of romance to them and I do find myself really uh, feeling very emotional about their journeys and about their relationships. Uh, with with each other, but I think the thing that I enjoy the most about Crash Into You is the appearances that both of the two main characters put on. It's it's like they're it's like they're wearing a mask to the rest of the world. Um, Isaiah does that with his tattoos and his piercings and his general behavior. He, he likes to put across that he drinks or does drugs or that he's just a general badass um, as a way of protecting himself. Um, and Rachel puts across uh, this idea that she's quite perfect. She has good grades, she does everything that's expected of her. She has very protective older brothers, you know, um, and a history that means that sometimes she has to put other people before herself. And the, the reason that I felt so strongly about Rachel's storyline in Crash Into You is because her uh, mask against the world hides her anxiety. Rachel's panic attacks occur whenever she's put into a position, usually by her mother or her family in general, in which she feels she needs to fill the shoes of um, a, a sister that had died before she was born. And um, in order to do this, she does um, she does things like making speeches in public um, and, and talking about her dead sister in, in ways that she knows that her mother or her family and, um, think that they want to hear. Okay, so her panic attacks stem from not being true to herself. And now that, for me personally, that's something that really struck a chord with me. I've been, you know, I've dealt with depression and anxiety off and on since I was a teenager. And quite often I find myself wearing a mask or not being entirely truthful either with myself or those um, who care about me about these instances of, of my mental health. You know, these are things that I don't speak about on a regular basis with people and it's only recently that I've become more open about my own depression and anxiety and I always get very similar responses, mostly of of dis disbelief because um, I've gotten so good at hiding the truth or putting on a certain type of mask or, you know, displaying an appearance that is of somebody who has a much better mental health history than than I do. So for me in particular, I really, really enjoyed reading Rachel's experiences and um, her journey towards uh, coming to terms with it, uh, speaking about it, airing her feelings and um, letting people close to her, um, you know, Isaiah, 
her parents, her older brothers, and letting them know more about it because I really think that talking about it and having more open communication about these topics is excellent. Okay, so for those reasons and, and more, um, there there is quite a lot that I enjoy about Katie McGarry's work, so I will definitely be looking out for other books, both connected to this series and anything else that she writes. I think she's fantastic and I really strongly recommend that you pick up all three of her books, both, you know, Pushing the Limits, Dare You To, and definitely Crash Into You. Okay, so enough of that. That's me talking about anxiety and appearances and Katie McGarry. So for this month, I hope you'll join me in reading The Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot. Um, I read this book a very, very long time ago. This is an old l library copy that I picked up in a sale. I, th I think the covers might have been changed, which is why it was being sold off, I hope. Um, and I thought it would be nice to read the book again, see if, I'd, if I fall in love with Mia uh, as much as I did the first time and Michael Moskowitz. That is his name, isn't it? Oh god, I hope so. Is it? Well, anyway, and Fat Louie and everyone else, um, to see how well it stands up. We'll see. I think that I'm going to enjoy it just as much. How about you? Okay, so we'll be discussing this towards the end of the month. Please feel free to join in. Um, tell us your thoughts. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you. Don't, I'm not going to see you tomorrow.